Hello and welcome to another Tableau video. I'm going to show you filtering, but I'm going to show you how to create an actual control. So I have a video showing how to actually introduce a filter. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's say I have category and subcategory. We're going to do both of those. I'm going to grab category from here. I'm going to add it as a filter and I'm just going to keep them all as selected. Okay. Then I'm going to get subcategory. I'm going to add it here as well. Okay. I'm going to go OK. Then what I want to do is if I right click this and go show filter, it's actually going to create a filter here on the right. Okay. If I do the same thing for subcategory, I go show filter, right? I'm going to have these two filters. Now, if I want to rearrange it, I just click here and I just move it. Okay. So what is the benefit of having a filter here compared to over here, right? This is for you as a developer. This is for your user because remember once your results are done, you're not going to take a screenshot and email it. That's not how these things work anymore, right? With Tableau, what happens is your results get published online. A user, right, will log in. They'll see your information like so. And then this is all they see, right? They interact with your final result. So they can come in here and go, oh, actually, I'm only interested in fur uh, without furniture. So I can untick that. So I'm pretending I'm a user and I'm only interested. I don't really want accessories. I don't want art. I don't want envelopes, labels and paper. And then they've got the results that they want. So it's like self service. So by giving filters, you're giving your users the option to see different things. This has a number of benefits. The first major benefit is pretend I have senior managers, right? Two senior managers. One focuses. I'm actually going to tick all these again, right? I have two senior managers, let's say actually three. One manages furniture, one manages office supplies, and one manages technology. Now with Excel, usually what happens is you do one analysis for furniture and you give it to the furniture guy. You do another analysis for the office supplies and give it to the office supply guy. And then one for the technology and you do it for the technology guy. And you have to do multiple analysis. And then if anyone wants to change, then you have to change all of it. And it's really time consuming. The benefit with Tableau is you build one that's a little bit more general, right? It's a little bit more broad, but by giving filters, it lets people see what they want to see, right? And it means you as a designer, you don't have to create multiple things. You just create one, right? That has multiple uses. And then using the filters, they can just go self-service, right? So we do that at my work where I publish, you know, a data set or data sets. It goes up into the cloud. Whoever needs to know it has, you know, subscriptions and then they just get notifications saying your data is ready. And then whatever they want to see, they handle it. If they're focusing on Victoria information, so the south of Australia, they want to get data out of that, they grab that. If they're working in the east, if they work for them, you know, it's self-service. And that's kind of the beauty of having these filters. Now, this is on a sheet. We haven't really covered dashboards yet, but we'll get to that. But this is the introduction to using these kind of um, filter controls for users. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.